Hello Explorer, I wish you a health today and enjoy an adventure. Today is my wedding so I want to share to you all about traditional Vietnamese wedding. The traditional Vietnamese wedding is one of the most important ceremonies in Vietnamese culture, which is influenced by Confucian and Buddhist ideology. The wedding is also seen as a family reunion. Family members will travel to the bride and groom's house a few days prior to participating in the wedding. This member will help with the preparation for the wedding and serve as the witness to the ceremony. The entire wedding process begins with many procedures such as the first is Le Yam Ngo, the meeting procedure. The future groom's family visits the future bride's family is a meaning for both families to know each other. The proposal is very informal. Only the immediate family member, mostly the parent, are involved and arrangements were done over drink and food. The groom's family traditionally will provide the rice wine, sweet bitter leaf and areca nuts as a symbol of their agreement. And the second ceremony is the Le Nap Kat. It's been the future groom's family will come back and talk about the wedding process after checking the fortune teller about if it's good or not for the couple to get married. It is something about the spiritual custom. The family will use this time to also discuss the dowry and other conditions that need to be addressed such as time to start the ceremony, how many people in the groom, and family are invited to the bride's wedding. And the third ceremony is the Le Nap Thai. It means the future groom family will bring a couple of lovebirds to assure about the wedding and also to connect well with the future bride's family. And this step can be done or not nowadays. And the fourth is the Le Nap Thai. It means the gift offering. The future groom's family we go to his future bride's home with the offering. Traditionally, these gifts are the better leaf, areca nut, wine, which is set in the lacquer box and covered by a red paper or cloth, and also tea, fruit, cake, tobacco, jewelry, and a roasted pig. And the total amount of the gifts are the even number, 3, 5, 7, 9, or even 11. This step now is normally to do on the wedding day at the bride's house. And the fifth ceremony is the engagement ceremony. Usually occur half a year or so before the wedding. The engagement ceremony is similar to the actual wedding ceremony. So it's more simpler and taking place at the bride's house. This ceremony is now can be cut off and only arrange the wedding. And the wedding at the bride's house is called Le Wu Kui, while at the groom's house is called Le Thanh Hon. And one symbol that is indispensable are the words Song Hi, written in the Chinese character. This phrase has always played an aesthetic role in important occasions such as wedding. Although wedding at the groom's house is the main wedding, but the wedding is take place at the bride's house first and today the Le Nap Thai ceremony is sold today. On the wedding day at the bride's house, the number of the people participating in the groom's projection vary, but it's usually restricted to the small number is 20 or so. This typically makes it easier on the bride's family who must receive all the guests in their home. The future groom and his entourage will wait at the door and a representative will bring the lacquer box in to ask if the bride's family are ready to enter. And both representatives can greeting by a cup of rice wine. Once the group is accepted into home, the groom and tourist will enter in a line, start with the two kids bring a lantern, and then two young men bring a parasol, then the doll and gift then the groom and the rest behind follow him. The gifts are carried by the younger and married man of the future groom family. 
Then I received by the same number of the young and married women from the future brides. And as I mentioned before, the gift included decorated mumkwa or the lacquer box covered in the red cloth. Inside this box a gift representing the dowry that the groom family will bring to the bride's family. The battle leaf, a recanet, fruit, cake, a roasted pig, fabric and an abundance of jewelry from the bride. The usual number of gift box is 5, 7, 9 or even 11. Half of the dowry will be given back to the groom family. This represents the bride's family showing the humility and the gratefulness for the groom's generosity. And now the ceremony starts. A representative from each family will introduce the family member of both sides respectively. The representative by tradition are a respected male elder of each family and introducing begin with the future groom side. The representative of the first side will explain their purpose of being here and their request for the future bride's hand in marriage. Once the gifts are unwrapped and approved by a future family, the future bride and groom parent will burn the incense to notify the future bride and sister of the engagement. And bride will invite rice wine to her future groom father, and the future groom will conversely do the same for her father. While better leave are invited to the mother for both of them, and the parents now are eating the better leaf and finish the rice wine for the happiness. The jewelry, typically an engagement ring, a pair of earrings and at least one circular gold necklace is called king will then be placed onto the future bride and a family member also will give ring and money directly to the bride and then both representative will blow off the candle as a sign for all agreed and done the groom and bride also give the happy money put in an envelope to the group who brought the dowry and the gift for them as a thanks to them. And now the bride and groom with the bride family will come to the gate to welcome their guests and greeting all the guests coming. The number of guests is attendant at this modern day reception is often large, usually in the hundreds. The extended family member and family friend who may not have attended the event prior are typically invited. And from now on, the bride and groom with their parents will come to the stage to introduce as an announcement again to their guests. The ceremony will end and a banquet hosted by the future bride side will occur afterward. Elaborate 7 to 10 course meal are served, often starting with cold platter and then followed by the hot dish such as the seafood hot pot, chicken and other Vietnamese. The meal would end with the dessert such as yogurt, cake or fruit platter. And all that is the wedding day at the bride house. And the thing at the groom's house today is the main and the most important day for the couple. Procedure is asking to receive the bride and bringing the bride to the groom's house. And the representative of the groom family will come with a lacquer box of bitter leaf, arachnid, and rice wine to officially ask permission to receive the bride. And cheering to glass of rice wine as agreement, the groom now bring the bride to his home with the bride's family and the rest of the entourage will follow the and again with the it bring lemon. two men bring the parasol, the representative and also the bride and groom with the entourage behind the groom family member will wait and welcome at the gate and then take the entourage to the groom and set the, the permission ceremony begin in the front of the groom's ancestor altar. Now the bride and groom with their respective parents burn it asking for permission from the ancestor to bless them. The groom and bride will then hold incense and bow to the altar. 
The couple turns and gives wine and better leave to their parents again, gives thanks for raising and protect them. Then again, the room family member will give the bride gift, gold ring or money. And after this ceremony finished, then the whole family will go out to the greeting and welcome their guest. When the guest coming up, the announcement on the stage starts. Welcome to the wedding party. We put money in a happy box as a gift for the couple and to greet the groom and bride a happy marriage. The groom will come to the gate and pick the bride. So at this step I do with the singing and picking the bride for more romantic. And same as the wedding day at the bride's house, the groom and bride will pour the champagne and cut the wedding cake. Then they give champagne to their parents to thanks again. Then they both cross their hand and drink the champagne as agreement to build their life together forever. Now it's the time for the banquet party starting. People can eat and cheering now. So during the banquet party, the groom and bride will go chow ban or table greeting, which is the customary process of the going to the table to the table to personally thank guests for their well wish and cheering together. Usually, each table selects a representative to give a quick congratulatory toast to the bride and groom. Mostly the time of this day, the groom got drunk because he drink too much. Every table, he has to drink each glass. Finish, it means like all happy. And during the banquet party, the two family members will sit together and eat table to talk and to know more each other. Then the entertainment often in the form of singing is served during the meal and some reception allow guests to perform song for the couple and the party would end with the guests dancing with the bride and groom and finally the moment all guests leave and the groom's family say goodbye is a sad night moment it means the bride have to stay with her family and not sure when they can come back home to visit her parents Traditionally, after marriage, the groom and bride will live with the groom parent. But in the modern life, when people can live in separate and depend on their conditioned life or work, sometimes the groom and bride even can live with the bride's family then. Some also live separate in their house if they are afford to buy the house. Anyway, this makes the bride's family and the bride burn into tears if even they know that they still can see again tomorrow and there's a last ceremony is also performed and still important is the second day happiness that after two day wedding at the groom house the couple will come back to the bride's house to do limat ceremony so they will bring rice wine areca nut better leaf and sticky rice to offer on altar of the bride's parents' house. This is the time to talk and sharing about the experience and the skill to start a new life for the couple. But nowadays, this also can be cut off. So thank you for enjoying an adventure. If you want to explore more about the Vietnamese food and culture, please surprise an adventure and share it to your friend and family. Then you get the notification about the next video right when it's up.